Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Blue Lock episode one. We're wasting no time. We're getting straight back into a sports anime after Haikyuu. This isn't a Haikyuu video, but I just wanted to say sports anime is where it's at. I know we've only seen the one, but Haikyuu was like the best thing that we've seen on the channel. Absolutely amazing. So I'm very excited to watch Blue Lock, especially because I am a, I'm going to trigger some people, but I'm going to use it. I'm Australian. A soccer player. I know. <laughs> You've already disliked the video. We actually have another sport in Australia that's referred to as football, called Australian Rules Football. So we have always used soccer. I kind of use both. If you guys want me to use football, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we clickbaiting the title? Football player reacts to? Oh, of course. I am. Let's go. I still play. <laughs> I used to play at a higher level when I was younger. I'm just playing indoor football <laughs> or futsal or indoor soccer. I'm going to use all three. Can't go wrong. Um, I am playing that with some mates at the moment, just casually. Every Monday night. Every Monday night. So we watch our sports anime usually on a Monday so it can get Angelo hyped for that's, his game. That's right, yeah. Uh, in terms of what we know about Blue Lock, the only thing that I've heard about Blue Lock really is that it's not really a team-based anime. I think there are some pretty individualistic characters to expect in here. It's fine, as long as it's enjoyable. And two, the manga was popping off. One of the Patreon members actually told me that the Blue Lock manga sold more copies than JJK and One Piece what? In, in, in that year of Whoa, release. Something amazing. like that. Yeah, so it is very popular. I've heard the anime is really popular. I think it's getting a spin-off movie or something coming up. I don't know. That That's, that's all I really know, and it's based off of football. Um, so I'm really keen to get into it. I've heard that it's a little bit different to Haikyuu in the sense that we do have maybe some enemies. Interesting. Maybe it's not all... Um, We're not going to like everyone. All heroes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, <laughs> That's yeah. all I've heard about it. Yeah, we won't be comparing anything to Haikyuu. Nah, We're just going <laughs> to go, go into this, enjoy it. Another sports anime on the channel. We really love that. So you're probably going to see us yell again. <laughs> and I'm sure there are going to be some some characters that we fall in love with as well. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. This is going to be so different for me. <laughs> oh! Hit him with the nutmeg! The what? The nutmeg. You'll have to explain all the terminology to me. Hi, Tamar. Nutmeg is when you kick the ball through someone's legs. Couple of step overs. Is he gonna... Is he gonna score? He's very serious about it, my gosh. Oh yeah, you gotta cut it across. He's gonna cook it, isn't he? Oh, he's not gonna get it. And yeah, I knew it, I knew it, and he's gonna regret it now. Oh, maybe he could have shot it himself. Ooh. Now you got to do the team thing there. Nine times out of... Oh, shit. The artwork looks amazing, yeah. by the way. Yeah, the character designs look really slick. I love how they introduce each of the characters. They've gone oh, down the other end and scored. No. Wait, why am I going for him? I feel like I should be going for him, you know? Oh, no. That's, that's horrid. This poor guy. Oh, number nine. His tone is confusing me. Oh, no, no sad. <laughs> is that guy the main character? He's giving me main yeah, character I energy. So. I recognize the blue eyes. I'm pretty sure I've seen him on a poster or something. Oh, oh, Europe's best player. Oh, 
It's his, his hero. Mm. His idol. It's driving him. Or what drive him? So they use soccer, I'm gonna use it too. <laughs> <laughs> you have permission. Yeah. I don't know. That would have passed it. You would have passed it. I think so. Yeah, I think I would have. <laughs> oh no. The emotions are finally flowing now. I gotta say, the artwork is magnificent. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> What's that called? I know you just Ken, said it. Kento? Ken something? Did you just say it? What is this? <laughs> so they weren't athletes. <laughs> seems, seems like. Got chosen for something. Do you, think he's, do you think he's as nice as he's letting off? I don't know. I thought that a little bit when he was on camera. I'm like, mm, is this a facade? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I want to see him lose and see what happens. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! Wow. This is how it feels walking into a room full of people. <laughs> Dang, it's like towering over everyone. Oh, messy. Okay. Yeah, where the defenders at? <laughs> Strikers. <laughs> Looks like he hasn't gotten any sleep in the past three years. Yeah, he's got a task, Carly, that he has to fulfill. It's okay. going to be a hard one. This feels illegitimate. What does? This whole setup. Uh huh. I think you're right. I feel like they're going to take their organs or something. <laughs> A name drop. Oh, I did not see it going this way. <laughs> what? What the heck? Squid game. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna assume that the other ten positions in the in the Japanese team are just fine. Yeah. <laughs> Striker is their problem. No questions. Yeah, do they all just have to ditch their teams? I think our main character will just be like, screw that. Mm. I want to I wanna win the World Cup. That was his dream before. He's like... Yeah, this guy's thinking, who cares about nationals? Did you just say lock off? Yeah. <laughs> but then I also saw leave. <laughs> this guy's got his own interesting philosophy. The dude is a villain. <laughs> oh my Oh. Yeah, maybe this guy's all right. I think it's not a facade. <laughs> yeah. This is who he is. <laughs> this is the guy they showed before. He, yeah. The dude was legit, but... Oh, right. I see. Okay. The man's legit. <laughs> oh. I love it. They're using oh real players. Oh my gosh. Pele. 
You know Pele. What? No, you never heard of Pele? Maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of truth to that. There is. It is what it is. It still is a team sport, but yeah. There is truth behind that. 100%. Oh, I like it. They set up that very first moment that we saw. Mm -hmm. It's like this. <laughs> oh, he's running through the doors. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he wants it so bad. <laughs> wow. I wonder if he's going to stay, the blonde kid. Dude, the speech was really good, yep. obviously. He's staying. Oh, these games are about to be crazy. Yeah. They're going to be like, the score's going to be like 7-5. Shit like that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> High scoring games. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did that on purpose. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I like that guy. He's got kind eyes. Yeah, hasn't he? he does. He's got kind eyes. I've got a really good vibe. Runs a temple. Okay, yep. Oh, number 300. Dies? <laughs> oh, okay. Basically the same for these guys. Yeah. They all basically just got to like stab each other in the back. <laughs> it's an interesting take. I mean, the striker is the most selfish position on the whole field. Of course. Training the process. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 we got a loose unit. Something's off. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude doesn't even know what he did. Smart. Oh, dear. He's unleashed the beast. Carly, we got a good vibe about an absolute snitch of a bloke. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. No, go back to go the temple. Funny again, Angelo. He's stressing me out. Get up. He deserves it, I hate to say it. <laughs> the dude is a beast. <laughs> what is going on? They're all psychos. Yeah. Has he hurt himself? No time out. Sorry. Yeah, you gotta do it. No, no, no. Poor guy. <laughs> I don't know, Carly. Someone has to. I hate to say it. He was playing like a little bit of a, you know. Don't say it. 
Oh no, he's gonna. Wow. Oh shit. Wow. Can you imagine number one if that guy's 290? No, stay away. Oh, animation! Nice. Animation! Oh. <laughs> Guy is nuts! Did, no, this guy's psychotic! No! Head it. Can he head it? Is that a thing? Yeah. Are you shitting me? Additional time. Time, cool. Yeah, I I gathered that much. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch the old um videotapes of some like older games. You still have them? I think my dad's got him somewhere, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Blue Lock's take is very different. Yes. We're not getting the team-based anime here. Absolutely not. This is focused around strikers, and that guy Ego, the scary villain-looking guy, a lot of what he was saying was true. I just want to put it out there, right? Yeah, I'm not going to go and argue with, like, some of the, <laughs> the greatest athletes of all time, their mentality. No way. Uh, it's It opens up a very interesting discussion. There are some players that are very good, that are very team-oriented. Like, some would argue that Messi, the greatest player ever, is very team-focused. But anyone who thinks that Messi doesn't enjoy scoring a hat-trick himself <laughs> is full of shit. <laughs> so... And then you've got players like Cristiano Ronaldo, very much an individualistic player, does like sharing um, in team success, but you just know he's the sort of player that really gets off on playing well himself. Okay? It's just some players are like that, yeah. you know? And that's why they're so good in a way as well, because they're so driven by individual success. Soccer is a team sport, though, so I feel like you've got you to find that balance. I do wonder what's going to happen in this show where... Maybe being too selfish might bite them in the butt, but it didn't seem to be the case in the in the very opening scene. Well, this is like the elite training that they're going through is telling them the complete opposite. It's yeah. telling them, like, you need to find your ego, you need to grow it, and they're testing them in every way now. I'm sure in many of the other Blue Lock rooms, something similar happened. One of the guys fell down, and some of the other guys probably didn't hesitate to kick the ball to them, you know? Yeah, that's actually ripped me there about Kira. Was that his I name? Know. I liked the guy. I did. I really liked him too. I thought we had him, like, I thought we were going to have him for quite a while. Yeah. But it seems like he's gone now. I kind of like it how they integrated real life players in the show. Yeah. Um, and an in game character beat them. So it's like these real life players are still part of this show, which is quite interesting. Mm. Uh, it's an interesting take. The guy beat out Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi in the Ballon d'Or. The Ballon d'Or is like the sort of the, the best player um, right. for that calendar year. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, they had mentions of some legends like Eric Cantona and who played for Manchester United back in the day. A little bit before when I was watching, maybe towards the uh, end of his career, I was I started watching Pelé, arguably one of the greatest players ever, right? Played for Brazil. So I kind of like these mentions. It's going to be cool for me. I get to nerd out about yeah. it. Um, yeah, I feel like you have a um, a wealth of knowledge on soccer and, you know, the World Cup and all that. I don't think I actually mentioned it at the start. I'm obsessed with the sport. My dad watches it every night as well, religiously. I got brought up playing it when I was like five. So I've been playing it pretty much every year for the last 23 and a half years. Wow. <laughs> giving away my age, but 
yeah, so I'm obsessed with the sport. I go for Liverpool in the Premier League. So I hope that doesn't rustle any feathers. I don't care. You Manchester United fans, get no, out. No, no, no. Leave. I have to cut that out. <laughs> no, you can't cut it out. No, 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 you can't. I this will... is a safe place for all. No, Even I'm... the Manchester United no, I'm beefing, fans. I'm beefing with the United fans for sure. Half my friends are United fans, so I'm used to it anyway. It's fine. <laughs> Any Liverpool fans, shout out in the comment comments below. I'm going to heart your comment. Red heart in the <laughs> comments below. <laughs> Manchester United are also red, so I don't know if they can oh, do that. Oh, maybe red and white hearts. Is Liverpool white too? Uh, one of the alternate kits has been white in the past. Don't worry about it. Manchester United also has an alternate kit that's white. Don't worry about it, Carly. I respect it, though. You're a Liverpool fan, right? Yeah. That's right. I love Liverpool. That's right. <laughs> you know any of the players? You actually do, I think. I, yes. Go on. You know one of the current players? Zimbabwe. <laughs> it's a country. Zimbabwe. Wait. <laughs> You're going to have to give me a minute. Gerard. He was a past player, yeah. Okay. Probably one of our greatest players ever. Currently. Let's start with M. Messiah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had the... That is right. It's Mo Salah. Yay, yeah, Mo Salah. There we go. Mo Salah. Yeah, Mohamed Salah. Yeah. Oh. It's not one name. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they'll do, Carly. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass you. Um, <laughs> I still okay. think you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this anime though. Oh um, yeah, definitely. Even though you don't know too much about the sport, you've you've watched me play. Yeah. 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 You know the the fundamentals. Now this would be an interesting take for me because I did grow up playing. As a forward, not a striker. I was like a right winger. Is the striker more like central, right there, right in the front? Okay. Yeah, leading the line. But uh, yeah, so when I was playing outdoor soccer, I was a right wing. So I was kind of part of that front three, the front three attackers. But I had to play somewhat unselfish because I had to try and provide for the striker, cross the ball in a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some times, you know, you you try to dribble past some players. You see a chance. Everyone's selfish to some degree. It just is. It's just a fact. When well, you imagine if no one was, and everyone's just passing to each other, like yeah. you score, no you score, no you, no you, no you. Yeah, that's but dumb. I know that, but now, like in indoor soccer, you know, I do, I do get what they're saying. Sometimes you want to be selfish, but I think a lot of the time, me and my teammates were pretty unselfish when we play. I don't know. That's that's I the vibe I get. Isn't it all about position and timing? Yeah, there is a lot of it about that. I'm interested to see their take on it. Mm. I kind of like that they've gone the opposite route that you'd expect. You know, anime, not just sports anime, is very, um, let's work together. Yeah. This has gone the other way. Yeah, it said, screw that, we're doing something different. It's going to be interesting. I think it would be enjoyable because now I don't know what to expect. Team moments would be nice, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case. Mm. You know, Japan here, they're lacking a striker. They need a deadly striker who's going to score them a shit ton of goals. It's very important. The striker's the most selfish position on the, on the field as well. The, mm, all strikers okay. want to score regardless. Like, the best of the best, they're somewhat selfish players. It just is what it is. And this guy, Ego, has seen that the Japanese team are never going to win the World Cup if they don't have an absolutely killer striker. Yep, it's got to be pretty um intense, skilled, selfish. Selfish, yeah. Interesting. I, I do wonder, like you said during the episode, how the matches are going to go. You know, there's so many strikers. I can see them doing drills and tests like this, but in terms of actual matches, I'm not sure. I think what might happen is they might cut down to a final 10 oh, people pretty quickly. Yeah, okay, right, right, right. And then we'll see them integrated into teams. With, I see. with other players. I'm not sure. Cause, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like with actual defenders and a goalkeeper. Like, I think that's that's the vibe that I'm getting at least. Interesting. Okay. Other than the actual logistics of the show, I like the idea of Blue Lock. I yeah, like okay. that it's kind of this, uh, it feels quite like off the grid and yeah. sort of like secretive yep. and superhero. It's got that vibe to it. I really yeah, enjoy okay. it. Yeah. Even the way they're dressed. Yeah. Um, the way that guy speaks to them over like the big screen. I was surprised too. You're right. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. It's very interesting. I didn't expect it at all. Nah. Um, and another thing I quickly want to comment on as well, I thought the soundtrack was incredible. It was really good during the hype moments. The animation's really good, but like the art style of the characters, mm. really sick. Maybe a little bit over-dramatized, like 
you can tell it's anime because, you know, their eyes are, like, on yeah. fire and stuff like that. But I think it's cool. I really like that I look. I like it too. And I think they're probably giving it a bit extra love in the first episode. Yeah. Like, really setting the tone. Yeah. Especially for our main character, you can see the hunger in his eyes. Like, they're, like, flaming. He yeah. wants it more yeah. than anything. 100%. Um, and the animation with the intros, I really liked that too. That was sick. It was really good, yeah. Good first episode. Yeah, um, great first episode. Yeah. Leave some of your favourite football players down below as well. I'd love to see. my One of my personal favourites, I really do like Cristiano Ronaldo. I love his drive. The dude is almost 40 and still banging in goals. Um, but I think one of my favourite players ever was Eden Hazard from Chelsea. He was a winger just like me. I modelled like a lot of what I tried to do off oh, him. Nice. Fantastic player, one of my favourites. So... I'd love to chat with some of you guys down below. I know there's going to be a lot of soccer players here, football players, soccer fans in the comments section for sure. So that'll be pretty fun to, to chat with you guys about that as well. Now, I think because it is a sports anime, we're going to bring back the MVP section. Makes sense. It does, but I feel like our main character is going to get a heap of them. But we'll just do it we'll anyway. try and mix it up. Yeah. We won't force it. Yeah. Who's MVP for this episode? I want to give it to Kira, but <laughs> he got knocked out, so he can't. He can't. I think <laughs> I think Isagi just, I don't know, gets it by default, doesn't he? It was very um, it was very centred around our main character, and uh, yeah. he got through in the end. The only other person I would possibly potentially say is the, the dude who was just jumping everywhere. Oh, yeah, he was crazy. Yeah, yeah. he was. But um, Isagi eliminated a very, I don't know, a strong competitor. Um, Someone higher up in the ranking than him. Yeah, that's actually ripped me. That, that actually know, makes me sad. It's really upset me. I would have preferred for it to have been Connie. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. But we'll oh. give him uh, MVP for today. Hopefully, we can mix it up a little bit, though, as we go. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.